So the way I read the bitter lesson is that it's not saying necessarily that human artisanal researcher tuning doesn't work, but that it obviously scales much worse than compute, which is growing exponentially. And so you want techniques which leverage the latter. Yep. And once we have AGI, we'll have researchers which scale linearly with compute, right? So we'll have this avalanche of millions of AI researchers and their stock will be growing as fast as uh, compute. And so maybe this will mean that it is rational or it will make sense to have them doing good old fashioned AI and doing these artisanal solutions. Uh, does that, as a vision of what happens after AGI in terms of how AI research will evolve, I wonder if that's still compatible with a better lesson. Well, how did we get to this AGI? You want to presume that it's been done. So suppose it started with general math and methods, but now we've got the AGI. And now we want to go... Then we're smarter. done. Hmm? We're done. Interesting. You don't think that there's any, anything above AGI? Well, but you're using it to get AGI again. Well, I'm using it to get superhuman levels of intelligence or competence at different tasks. So these AGIs, if they're not superhuman already, then... They, the, the knowledge that they might impart would be not superhuman. I guess there's different gradations of human. I'm not human. sure this this so, your, your, your idea makes sense because because no. it seems to presume the existence of AGI, uh, and then that we've already worked that out. So maybe one way to motivate this is Alpha Go is superhuman. Yeah, um, it beat any Go player. Alpha Zero yep. would beat Alpha Go every single time. Yep. So there's ways to get more superhuman than than even superhuman. Yep. And it was a different architecture. And so it seems plausible to me that, well, the agent that's like able to generally learn across all domains, there would be ways to make that, give it better architecture for learning, just the same way that Alpha Zero was an improvement upon Alpha Go and Mu Zero was an improvement upon Alpha Zero. And the way Alpha Zero was an improvement was it did not use the human knowledge, but just went from experience. Right. So why do you, why do you say but bring in other agents expertise to teach it when it's when it's been it's worked so well from experience and not by help from another agent i agree that in that particular case that it was moving to more general methods but i meant to use that example to illustrate that it's possible to go superhuman to superhuman plus plus to superhuman plus 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 yeah and i'm curious if you think those gradations will continue to happen by just making the method simpler or because we'll have the capability of these millions of minds who can then add complexity as needed, if that will continue to if that will continue to be a false path even when you have billions of AI researchers or trillions of AI researchers. I think I think more interesting is just think about that case. Hmm. Which when you have many AIs, um, will they help each other the way cultural evolution works in people? Right. And let, let's just maybe we should talk about that. Yeah, for sure. The bitter lesson. Oh, who cares about that? That's <laughs> that's an empirical observation about a particular period in history. Seventy years in history no longer doesn't necessarily have to apply to the next seventy years. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.